Here we are demonstrating the procedure of intersphenteric resection with preserved hiatal ligament under laparoscopic control. The patient was a 68 years old male with T3 low rectal cancer located 5 cm above the anal verge. Gently grasp the superior rectal artery eventually to expose the anterior layer of the mesentery where an incision is made. Once a good dissection plane is accomplished, it is relatively easy to continue on with the rest. The lumbar splenic nerves travels along the right and left side of the aortic plexus as it also surrounds the inferior mesentric plexus. Safety measures must be taken to prevent the injury of the lumbar splenic nerves while carrying out lymphadenectomy with harmonic scalpel. The gonadal vessels and the ureter are located beneath the toad's fascia, which is visually recognizable. The inferior mesentric vein is resected after we have sufficiently swept through the inferior mesentric artery and the corresponding leaf nodes. Further identify the left colic artery and the sigmoid colic arteries to be resected as well. By pulling the superior rectal artery in separate direction, eventually pushing the sigmoid column to the side. The retrorectal space and the hypogastric nerves are revealed. Exposing rectal sacrophasia. Making an incision through the prehypogastric nerve fascia to further reveal the sacromedian vein. Next, we move on to the left side. The rectal sigmoid is now dragged towards the right as we continue to dissociate the adhesion between the left side of the rectum and the peritoneum. Incising the peritoneal reflection. In order to correctly expose the denovillier fascia, 
the seminal vesicles has to be identified beforehand. The rectum is dragged to the opposite side, making a reveal of the lateral ligament, which was later extricated and bisected for the purpose of exposing the loose connective tissue overlaying the levator ani. According to standard TME principle, when the rectum is completely mobilized down to the pelvic floor, the hiatal ligament can then be identified as a padding between the levator ani hiatus and the rectum. The hiatal ligament consists of one trunk and two branches. The trunk roots on the tip of the cossex and the two divided branches embraces the rectum from both sides at the levator ani hiatus level. Coordinating traction and counter-traction movements to maintain exposure. The rectum and the levator ani are dissociated along the inner lining of the hiatal ligament. Then, the intersphincteric space is identified. Continuing on to the left side. Careful not to injure the hiatal ligament and the pupil rectus muscle. An endoscopic linear stapler is now introduced to transect the rectum. And lastly, double stapled anastomosis.